Uh, I could make a cast iron thimble for my thumb. That would probably uh, work just dandy. All right, I'm going to take my straight edge here. And you might think, well, this is a little bit, uh, doesn't make any sense because this is a little bit curved here. And it's like, well, you know, the cork row bed is flexible. So even if I do make a straight cut, along here I can bend it and force it to good form so that's the nice thing about uh, the cork road bed and we just eyeball it along here and cut it then just pin it down have the edge of the knife fall along the edge of where you cut the bevel off right there essentially that's what you want to do now we take my knife, hold your straight edge down, and just start scoring it, cutting it gradually. Don't need to be in a hurry, just like that. See how that fits in there tightly? So let me uh, take my turn out here and just kind of hold it up quickly, insert it just to see if I'm right in my positioning. And yeah, 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 it looks like that'll work. I don't know if that's how hard that is for you to see. Let me zoom in. Okay, yeah, that'll work fine. And you can see how it ends up butting up nicely against there. So now um, I'm going to basically do the same. But this one, uh, same song, same dance, same, wait, different song, new dance? I don't know. Might be the same song, new dance. Oh, who knows. Uh, all right, let me tack this in. Just to hold this in place. All right. Now I'm going to take this and push it up against, I'm going to push this up against um, the other side of the, the cork road bed like that and it go as far as I can and I'll essentially do the same with this piece here now put my straight edge along here and I've cut it, have it line up along here I mean, even though it's not entirely straight it'll work out all right, and then score lightly. I say you don't want to cut it, cut it too much here. Oops, you back up. You don't want to try to get it in one cut because you know you want to keep a nice, decent point on your cork road bed so it fits together nicely. So you just want to cut it lightly until it actually cuts through completely. when it does that. There we go. Got that out. Now let me just kind of snug it in like that. And there we go. We've created diverging turnout with our cork road bed. Just like that. So I've got a little bit of a gap there, but that's not too bad. So now I'm going to go ahead and uh, glue this in place. But first, let me do one more double check here. Let me put the turnout back in. Okay. Let's do a visual appraisal of what I've done. I'm going to go ahead and stick this back in. Put this back. Okay, we've got that. Make sure that's all lined up. Now let's take a piece of track and just kind of hold it up here. Like that. And I think, uh, yeah, yeah, I think that'll work fine. You kind of see what I mean? So, all right, that's how we splice um, 
basically hacking a turnout. First of all, how to hack in a turnout where it wasn't one before, and then how to splice in road bed that wasn't there before. So at least that's how I do it. What you take home is up to you. So. All right, now we find my end line. Okay, there's my end point. So I cut the end off right there at my end point that I'd drawn. So now, <coughs> excuse me, now that I got this, I take these little brads out, I'll clean that off. Okay, Elmer's carpenter glue, get this thing fixed into place. And then uh, I'll let this dry for an hour or so, and then come back. I don't know if I'll get around to it tonight, but uh, I'll come back and uh, either tonight or on Thursday after New Year's, and then uh, get this, start sanding this down. Here we go. Spread that. Not too much. You don't want to do it too too heavy a layer. It's probably probably good enough. Okay, move that out of the way. Move that. I still want to be able to see the line I drew. Hee <laughs> uh, hee. Don't want to totally lose that. All right. Uh, fit this in place. All right here. This, put it in there. Now I'm going to take these. Uh, let me make sure I'm going along the line. It'll be fairly accurate. Okay. All right. So what's nice about the glue is it kind of temporarily holds things in place, where I can just sit back and maneuver things around. So that's probably one of the reasons why you don't necessarily want to use contact cement to secure your road bed because once you put it down that's it <laughs> it's gonna stay and uh, I've tried that before not a good thing not a good thing at least for me I mean maybe there may be some situations where you may want to try that or need to do that but I'm just gonna tack the road bed down with these brads Tack it in place. Ah, come on. Fumbling all over the place. Here we go. You yeah, have it already three inches or so. Two and a half, three inches. Just tack it in lightly. You don't want to have to use the claw and the hammer to pull these out later. Just enough to hold it in place. Like that. Just like that. All right. Uh, let's take my other piece and put it in there. Ooh, that's, that's working out good. Got a little bit of a hole there, but that's not too bad. Not too bad at all. Put this in place right here. I can jam it in there. For, well, let me put another brad here. So it doesn't, so this thing doesn't move around. Whoops, a little bit too big. I want to do overkill here. in there tightly. Uh, let me just do another ballpark look at what I'm doing here. Yeah, I'm thinking that'll work. That'll be fine. Yeah. They say uh, in carpentry, was it measure three times and cut once? Maybe look through two, th we'll look three times and glue once. <laughs> that kind of helps. There can't hurt anything. So I don't especially feel like having to tear this up again. Okay. So just like that. I say so you don't want to hammer these in too deep because you really want to be able to pull these out by hand when you're done. That'll make it a lot quicker to do so all right so let me put one more here to tack down this little point it's a 
doesn't stick up. There. All right. Okay, I think we're good to go here. All right, so that's uh, um, I started earlier before I did the weathering on the uh, uh, model. I, I spliced in this turnout, and now I've essentially spliced in um, the road bed the, where the uh, diverging point of the turnout is going to go. So, uh, next on the list, when this dries, um, is to start sanding this down. <laughs> So we get a gradual taper in here. So <coughs> anyway, I think that's it for now. Ta-ta.